When I say the word graffiti, you may envision an electric box covered in Sharpie or maybe a public bathroom mirror engraved with someone's keys. There are other forms of graffiti, like murals on public walls and public bridges, often made in spray paint. But these types of graffiti often get a bad rap among the art community because of their affiliation with being illegal and gang related. I'm not an experienced artist myself, but I have been interested in graffiti art for quite some time. And I have recently been doing some research in order to inform myself as your speaker on this topic. In this speech, I hope to dissolve some negative stereotypes surrounding graffiti and persuade you that it does deserve to be legitimately recognized in the art community as a form of art. I will begin by defining art and giving some background information on the origins of graffiti. I will then offer a counterclaim as to why some people may disagree and think that graffiti should not be considered an official type of art. Lastly, I will provide a counterclaim, or sorry, some solutions, some basic solutions that even you can take part in to help solve this problem of graffiti artists being under-recognized. Now, according to Derek Grosso in 2018, art is defined as, quote, the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual format. So I think collectively we can agree without any bias that under this definition, graffiti is art. Uh, to get a solid definition of the word graffiti, we can look at the Italian root of the word, which is the term graficar, which in Italian means to draw or write on a surface that is intended for other people to see. Uh, and according to Stowers in 1997, art that falls under this definition has been around for thousands of years. This is the graffiti you may be more familiar with, just tags on any other surface in the city, maybe a bathroom mirror or an electric box, but it all originated with this. Cave drawings uh, originated in prehistoric times with cave dwelling people putting stories and images up on walls uh, in order for other people to read them and be able to be told a story. Uh, there were classical civilizations such as Pompeii that were also known for having graffiti. This is a mural found in uh, Pompeii and is still considered one of the earliest forms of graffiti. It was not until the 1960s that graffiti was introduced as a modern art form or really took any sort of popularity in the US or anywhere else in the world. But since its, since its start in New York City, graffiti has grown into an international subculture and it has cultivated hundreds of talented artists from countries all over the world that have chosen painting public surfaces to be their medium of expression. Now for the counterclaim. Uh, a disclaimer, I have no intention of excusing vandalism or excusing de the defacing of businesses, but I do hope to highlight some types of graffiti that are overlooked because of their association with illegal activity and that could be used which is the artist's intention to beautify an urban area that would otherwise be dull and colorless. The main reasons people disqualify graffiti as a legitimate type of art is because of cost and its illegality. So to start with cost, for many, the main concern is that taxpayer dollars are used by the government when covering up graffiti. They have to hire government workers and buy supplies like paint and sprayers to cover them up. I believe, though, a large step in legitimizing graffiti is to understand that there's only some types of graffiti that need to be covered up. For example, this type of graffiti in the top left seems to be a colorful, talented mural that an artist put a lot of effort and time into, 
but is now being covered up just to return it back to a gray, dull wall. I think that if the government could look past some of those misconceptions and understand that places could look a lot better with graffiti on them and they could actually be used to beautify urban areas, that they would give a chance for these graffiti artists to kickstart their careers and would also just add to the aesthetic value of the city itself. Secondly, another issue is the illegality of it. There is a, a stereotype of gang members spraying their tags as graffiti, and some people associate all graffiti with being just that. But the problem with that is a lot of talented graffiti artists are completely overlooked because they're associated with gang activity. Now let's take three artists that were once in this situation. Some of you may know Keith Haring, Cause, and Banksy. These are three of the world's most talented street artists today. And they, not only did they start their careers as uh, as graffiti artists in a city spray painting walls and billboards, but they were actually condemned by the public and their home cities by for being uh, punks and vandals. But ironically, since they have skyrocketed to fame within the art community and their art has been legitimately recognized, According to Sammy Delavari in 2013, their art is now even being commissioned by their home cities under the term street art and, excuse me, being used to beautify urban areas. Now, he, even here in San Diego, places like Chicano Park, some of you may be familiar with that, is an area covered in graffiti and murals that depict Hispanic culture and Hispanic history. Now, if it weren't for the San Diego government uh, a few decades ago legitimately recognizing this as a cultural art and not just tagging or illegal gang activity, this place would never exist. Now it is filled with dozens and dozens of colorful murals that are dedicated to Hispanic culture. Now, you may be listening to this speech and thinking uh, it's able to be overlooked as a problem for artists. Only artists need to worry about this. Other people in the art community need to start recognizing each other. Now, that is true, but it's also for the viewers and the public seeing this. If you start to consider the potential of street artists, that are being overlooked and not able to start their careers, such as these three artists here that were originally overlooked, then it's easy to see this as a bigger problem. Uh, if it weren't for a change of heart about the talented street artists we have today, their art would never exist, as, or their, career, their art careers would never exist, and neither would the massive impact they've had on future artists. There have been numerous organizations recently established that aim to support young graffiti artists and break the stereotypes surrounding them. Uh, one main website that we can all take a look at is graffitiheart.org. They recruit donors to commission young artists to beautify urban areas and spray paint murals on anything that the donor recommends. Um, so by visiting sites like this, we at home are able to make a difference and not by even making monetary donations, but just simply recognizing these artists and the talent and effort that they're putting into their craft. If we all take a second to recognize these artists, we are collectively making an effort to stop this problem. Now, this is not just a problem that requires action by artists, but it requires a change of judgment among viewers. 
By keeping an open mind about this art form, we can all collectively erase the negative stigma surrounding graffiti and that whole art form, and especially the creators that are making such impressive art. Okay, in this speech, I aim to persuade you that graffiti is a legitimate art form and that street artists deserve to be recognized as talented, legitimate artists among the art community. The problem was that artists are under, these artists are underappreciated for their craft and receive negative judgment because of stereotypes associated with gang activity and other illegal um, vandalism and tagging. Change for this problem is slow because traditionalists among the art community are stubborn and slow to accept new forms of art and still stick to that association of gang activity. In order to solve this problem, artists in the art community, as well as everyday, everyday people like ourselves, need to keep an open mind and forget previous misconceptions that we once had about graffiti art and the people that are making it. We, will, we are allowing for the beautification of urban areas as well as allowing artists to showcase their, showcase their talents and pursue a career in art. So all I ask is the next time that you come across a wall covered in graffiti, try to ignore your previous assumptions about the artist or the mural itself and start to appreciate the art just for what it is a unique mural full of color and personality. Thank you.